<laughs> Nate, Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Radio Raheem with Nate Diaz. You know, Nate, after the Jake Paul fight, even you said that you thought you played around a little too much, wish you had committed more during the fight. Mm. And now you have an opportunity to fight Masvidal again. Is this a bit of a, a redemption for you and your fans if you come out 100% on the 1st of June? Yeah, of course. I want to look good for sure. Uh, not even to, for, to prove all to all of them, but I got to show my coach and my partners what's up. How are you training differently for this fight than you did for the Jake Paul fight? I'm not. I'm just starting a little closer to the fight than before because... I think I had like a five month camp and as soon as they said the name I start, you know, so uh, shortened it up a little bit. We saw you hit a blunt right here on the stage. Is smoking gonna be part of this camp too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know uh, McGregor's getting in the octagon again. Is there any chance that we ever get the McGregor fight? Yeah, at some point. Everything's about timing and uh, I don't plan on going nowhere, so. I believe so. This is the first time two UFC fighters have boxed on a stage like this, at a level like this. Is How long do you think you can box? And is this like a new, maybe revenue stream for UFC fighters? Several several more fights too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight Leon Edwards again too. And uh, who's the other guy? Uh, a bunch of them, a bunch of them motherfuckers. Uh, uh, what was the question? Is this a new revenue stream for UFC fighters? And how long do you think you can box? I think I could box for a lot, for a lot longer than I could, have, could do MMA, but I plan on fighting MMA for a long time also. Uh, lastly, you know, Shane Gillis has a great impression of you. I know you've seen it. Uh, do you have an impression of Shane? Yeah, I, no, I don't. Shane's a massage to Shane, though. <laughs> Go ahead. Radio Raheem with Nate Diaz. Nate over Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Nate. Andrew Rosario on the scene sports. Tell me about your training from a boxing standpoint as compared to the UFC standpoint. Uh, I did the same thing like uh, like uh, for for MMA, except I just did all the other shit too. So I have a lot more time to sit there and work on work on my boxing if I want. But usually I just go train everything else also. So what are your strengths as a boxer? Um. I think I'm better than everybody. <laughs> I, I, I've trained with uh, hundreds and hundreds of pro boxers that have been in my career, and probably thousands of shit. And uh, I beat them. Uh, I've won more rounds than all those guys have. Except for Ward. Ward beat me, beat me, beat me in more rounds than I had on him. So. What has Ward taught you in the ring? Uh, we never really, we didn't talk much about training or anything like that. We just trained, so uh, the experience was great, and uh, seeing him talk and do other stuff is great. So uh, he's definitely helped helped a lot. Finally, if there's one thing that you really need to do the night of the fight in order to come away with your hands raised, what would that be? Uh, just train, prep good, and get it done like you're supposed to. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. Right in front of you, Nate. Nate, it's uh, Kevin, right here, Nate, right in front of you, right in front of you, right there, there you go. Um, Kevin Garcia with FightHype.com. So, Nate, last time I saw you in August before your fight Jeez, with... Jeez, gang, baby, what's up? There I we go. Hard, <laughs> there you go. Um, but, yeah, last, last time I saw you before your fight with uh, Jake Paul, uh, Kayla Plant had just slapped Jamel Charlo, and I asked you if it was Stockton Slap Certified. You said uh -huh. yes. Today, your guy Ryan Garcia, he got slapped by Devin Haney. Do you certify that as a Stockton slap? Uh, no. <laughs> Garcia, you know what's up. There you go. Uh -huh. That's my question. Thank you, Nate. Nate Diaz over here. Uh, so, obviously, you're universally, universally respected in the combat sports community. Whether you win or lose, people love you. Is this the period of time where you can have the most fun? And as a martial artist and a combat sports athlete and a pioneer, you get to have these special events and do these special fights and really play to the to a tune of your own drummer. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like the, I like the more options. That's why I wanted out of the the whole time. And uh, for sure, march to be my own drum, do what I want to do. And, uh, you know, uh, I, li I love all the arts, boxing, <laughs> wrestling, karate, kickboxing, everything. And um, uh, it's cool to go out and show each individually, too. So.
Yeah. And you're a hero, hero within the community. And uh, speaking about your brother, uh, Nick Diaz, he actually started a promotion way back when. A uh, really good MMA promotion that ran for one event. Do you plan on maybe going to business with him now that you can be your own boss and afford to be your own boss? Or what, what's your plans after this? Yeah, this this is forever. Cool. Awesome. Thank you very much, Nate. Thanks. Nate, Nate, four, fight Nate Dex with four points boxing. Is there any truth to Jake Paul saying... Keys game, baby. I see your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, is there any truth to Jake Paul saying that you turned down $10 million to fight him in the PFL? Yeah, I get more than that. But... <laughs> and uh, uh, I didn't turn it down. He didn't take my offer. So there's a shot that we could see you guys in the PFL for one day. No. No, no PFL. PFL is PFL. Uh, PFL was selling two tickets and get two free. <laughs> you see your That's what Dana said. <laughs> no good on PFL ever. Nate, Nate, Nate is a KO artist, sportsman. Uh, as one of the guys who faced Jake Paul, he's obviously facing uh, you know Mike Tyson next. Can Jake Paul? Uh, uh, how does that fight go? Does Jake Paul bring anything Mike Tyson hasn't seen before? Um, Mike Tyson's go man. So. I'm on Mike Tyson's side, so we'll see what happens. Do you think uh, Mike could take a kind of... I think he's seen it all, yeah. I think he knows exactly what he did. Nate, yeah, Jose, thanks. MMA Fighting. Uh, you just said a little minute ago, it's all about timing with these opponents. So what is it about right now that Jorge's per the perfect opponent for you? Well, all the boxers are in boxing contracts with certain uh, leagues and organizations, and all the fighters that I would like to fight are UFC fighters, and they're all in... Uh, contract with UFC. I'm the only free one out here. So who's the real baddest motherfucker? I could fight anybody. Nobody could fight me. Yeah. And uh, he's the highest level of competition, the best fighter that was able to box. And uh, that's what I'm taking. Not the best of the best. I ain't. I'm not. I ain't fighting no punks never. It's forever. Forever fighting the best. Like, uh, sometimes, uh... Already forever had been too. For since I had five fights in UFC. Uh, after the Ultimate Fighter, that were that were under uh, above a top ten ranked opponent. Then I demanded uh, top ten top ten guys, and I've been finding them for 25, 30 fights in the UFC. And now whatever I'm doing, I'm finding find the best fighter that I can fight. I'm not gonna play a fight. I can fight anybody for ten million dollars, and probably I can probably fight anybody and probably get ten million dollars. I want to fight the best of the best or the biggest. Everyone thinks Jake Paul is the escrow, so why am I going to not fight him? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'll take the best in the room, always. Hey, hey, since 2004. Uh, fans, uh, since 2004. Yes, that's what I said to us that he'd be willing to fight Tommy Fury. Is that someone that would interest you? Uh, not really. I don't think he's very good, very, very good or that big of a game. <laughs> like I said, everybody believes Jake Paul is the biggest, best thing happening. Uh, and Fury. I guess maybe it'll be an option at some point, but right now our time thing, timing, baby. I don't think it's the right time for that fight. Nate, Charlie Quinn from Fight Sports here. Um, obviously, happy birthday, first and foremost. What's kept you around the, around the game so long? Uh, probably just that's all I do. I train to fight, and it's, I've been living in the war life since a little kid. There's been fights my whole growing up, and um, I think uh, for one, that's it. I already accepted that a long time ago. And I'm a long distance runner, you know what I'm saying? Like the rest of the fighters. Didn't Gaethje just got slept the other day, right? By, yeah. by Holloway got yeah, murdered. Yeah, he just plays and went to the Yeah, he the was market. just came into the UFC in 2000. I've been in the UFC since 2007. Yeah. He got in the UFC in 2019, I believe. Yeah. You know how much I'd done before he got there? And then they asked him about me, and he started making fun of me, talking about how I'm a journeyman and, uh, and how... Uh, and then his boy was the champion, and then when the whole BMF shit came on, he was fucking making fun of it. They were clowning the BMF title and, yeah. and boycotting it and all that stuff. And then him and Usman both got knocked the fuck out, and they're on their way out, and they're gone, long gone already. And they just got here, so... Um, you are like 17, 18, fighting pronouns. Yeah, man. I was fighting the whole time, so, like, <laughs> the disrespect for even saying my name, like, that is crazy. And uh, I was here before all of the UFC fighters. I'll be here long after... And uh, 
I'm a long distance runner, baby. I'll be here to yeah, the end of time. Hey, Karen Bajit from SC Experts. I know when you started training early on in BJJ, it was just getting something to eat, getting a burrito, and, and everything you've achieved since then. Do you ever reflect back on everything you've been through and now being able to headline a card like this, your name first on a card like this? Yeah, I'm always reflecting, but it's like, it just feels like the other day, so it's always kind of like, it's still plenty of time to reflect on that. What are the rest of the questions? Uh, just like, what does it mean for you to, to headline a card like this? Your name first and headlining a big boxing event like this? Yeah, that's the way it should be. I feel like I'm the greatest fighter at all in all, all the sport, but just like I said about these guys, even the championship holders, Usman and, and Woodley and all these guys, they're like, um, they're like, uh, they're, they're all, congrats, they're great fighters and all that, but they're, they're, they're on top for f five minutes, five title fights. Title holders f fight top five, top ten fighters, right? As they're defending the belt, and then they, they defend it four or five times. And uh, then they get put to sleep, and they have a couple rough fights, and they're out the out the careers. But uh, I've had rough fights the whole time. Never got the belt, but been fighting top ten fighters, top five fighters for 25, 30 fights. I fought better fighters than all the people. So if that answers your question, it does. It does. And after this, are you going to continue boxing, or are you going to go back to MMA? What's what's your plan? I'm going to do both. If I have to go back into the UFC to uh, to fight those guys. Uh, that, that are the best in the world, then I will. But uh, if not, they get their ass out here and fight me. And then if not, I'm gonna try to fight the best boxers I can box too after this. So, but like I said, Todd, the best of the best in both sports is my plan for the next 20 years. Nate, what do you think about this? Guys, this is the last question. What do you think about Gil go? starting his own promotion with Scott Coker? Yeah, and Gil starting his own promotion, that's a new thing. He did, he did, we just figured that all out. and. Uh, as soon as I get done with this, I'm gonna go link with him. We're gonna do some training when I get back, and uh, we're gonna do the same with him. Fucking take over this whole fight game shit. All right, thanks, um, everybody. <coughs> yeah, thanks, thanks so